Hello, Pisces. Welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. This is your reading. Let's see what we have for you. This is for anybody with a strong Pisces placement. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces and their love interest, please. Although this is being released for March the 7th, full moon day, um, it's actually timeless. If you're ever drawn back to this reading at another time, then definitely come on back and check it out. Yo oh my, okay. Wow. <laughs> You're the magician. Okay. So, um, my intent was a love interest. Let me know. It doesn't have to be romantic. Um, if this, this could be somebody who deeply loves you, but we see that there's some form of manipulation occurring here. Um, Five of Swords and the Magician would indicate somebody manipulative, gaslighting, narcissist, something of that nature. Um, I don't normally like to go to that. Pisces, as you know, I prefer to keep it positive, keep it light, keep it happy. However, however, um, we were given these two cards for a reason. So, there may be one of you out there that is dealing with an energy that's trying to take advantage of you in some way. Um, I see that this particular person may have cut off communication, may have treated you like, you know, an option in bed, and that's it. Um, when you were looking for something more stable, we see there was some sort of heartbreak. We have two threes, which does indicate a potential third party. Third party doesn't have to be a person. But here we have this energy of you going, why did they cut off communication? Did they only see me as a little bit of fun? Here's this sense of grief, this sense of longing. But really, it's like, you know, it's almost kind of like somebody said, you know, I just want to be friends, friends with benefits, and that's it. You know, like, don't want anything else. Sorry, friends with benefits. Um, and it's causing you this sense of, of deep mistrust in people. Sadly, sadly, I am entirely seeing that that is this person's way. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, we, have, we have an argument in which somebody loses out, but it's almost like this person, oh, gosh, it's like this person is having trouble walking away from you, but yet is only interested in, you know, having a little bit of fun. And so, Pisces, you've got, a, you've got a big decision to make about this person. Because it looks like they keep coming back. Chariot with the Knight of Coins. It's, it's almost like they come at you really fast with this energy of, hey, let's, let's have a good time, Pisces. And then they turn around and go in the opposite direction. But I also feel that they kind of gaslight you about it. It's like... Didn't I already tell you that, you know, I was only looking for friends with benefits and, you know, why are you not understanding that? What's wrong with you kind of thing? This person has, is doing something manipulative or has been. And so I'm reading for somebody who's really dealing with, with, um, quite a character here. All right, let me get uh, some more cards. Let me see if I can reach them. Hold on. We're going to use the Everyday Witch, the minis. Split this deck, no flyouts, please, and we are going to clarify all of the cards that are on the board.
I said no flyouts. I don't know if you can see these because you know you're a little bit further back if you're on a TV you might be able to see them but I don't know about those of you that are using your phones right now these are very tiny but um, if you'll notice several of these came out in the reverse the three of coins coming out in the reverse also with the three of coins here and the three of swords here with the tower and the Three of Swords again. So we have the Three of Swords twice, the Three of Coins twice, literally on your side here. I really feel like like you feel this person is keeping you around as, as kind of like, um, you know, an option basically. You may be aware that they're dating somebody else, something of that nature. They are definitely up to no good. Seven of Swords with the, with the Chariot and this manipulative energy. Six of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Wands. Six of Pentacles. The Tower. Justice in reverse. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Confirming that this is good time. This is, this is your good time boy or your good time girl or your good time, you know, them. You know, somebody somebody's looking for a good time. <laughs> Then we have the Page of Swords. They definitely have some sort of communication that has been manipulative with you. It's almost like this person has this super charming way about them here, right? It's like super, super charming here. They, they, they kick in the charm with this Knight of Wands and this Eight of Wands so, so quickly. They, you know, they shine their little dimple at you or their dimples at you. <laughs> they, they lay on the charm. And then here we have this six of wands in the reverse with the ace of wands. But there's a lack of, there's quite frankly, a, a lack of respect or a lack of, um, maybe they don't feel so good about themselves. It's, I, I get the sense that this person is treating you as a conquest. All right, Pisces. So, you know, if you know that you're dealing with this energy, and maybe you've been struggling to let this person go. Um, but having all of these, we got three, 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 three. And the way I laid this card down shows three cups. It's like your strongest desire is to be chosen by this person. For this person to say, hey, let's work this stuff out. Let's work together. Let's find a way to work together. But it just doesn't seem to be happening that way. And perhaps you're attracting a lot of people like that. Let me just say you're probably not attracting a lot of people like that. It's just dating in this day and age. Um, people feel that they have a gazillion options and they just don't seem to value relationships. And so, you know, it's probably not the case. But we, we see a whole lot of overthinking while dealing with this grief. It's like, it's like the there's a lot of grief over being treated as an option. It's like you're aware that this person is not treating you right, but for some reason they come in and they give you this, they give you this line, they give you this, you know, very charming energy here. And then they turn their back and they just kind of, they don't give you what you need. They give, they do say something that's, that's, you know, cunning, manipulative. They worm their way back in and then they walk their way back out. looks like you've got a decision to make, Pisces. Advice for Pisces regarding this person, Spirit. What advice do you have for this Pisces that's dealing with this energy, please? Ooh, page of swords in the reverse. This is your advice. Don't spy on this person. Just let them go. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't spy on them. It's going to cause problems. Just let them go. <laughs> 
Seven of Coins, Page of Coins, The Star, and The High Priestess. Okay, so we have the Five of Coins. Five of Wands underneath. So you may be going through kind of an internal struggle over this person. Um, Page of Swords in the reverse is kind of like the social media spy. And, and we were asking for advice for you. So I feel like the advice is, you know, whatever negativity that person has said to you, believe it. Believe that they really and truly are not looking for anything other than this kind of... Um, Fly by night, fun energy, right? And with the seven of coins and the and the page of coins, I feel like this is spirit telling you to put time and energy into somebody that's willing to give to you what it is that you need, what it is that you long for and wish for and hope for. Take some time to heal from the wounds that this that has been caused by this situation. And with the high priestess. Don't go looking for secrets here because if you look for secrets, you're going to find something. And, you know, we we know that when people feel a need to justify why something has occurred, they will find something that will make them feel that way. So don't do that. Instead, focus on your own intuitive knowing that you deserve somebody who's going to give to this relationship, not somebody who's going to give you breadcrumbs. Now, what advice or what information do you want Pisces to know about this person? King of Cups, Four of Coins, Knight of Cups. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, Hierophant in the reverse. We have the Death card here. It's almost like you're kind of being guided and maybe this isn't exactly the right thing for you. Um, the King of Cups, Four of Coins, Knight of Cups. I feel like like your energy may be, okay, this person has a lot of love for you, but they're just holding back and you're hoping they're going to come forward. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Hierophant in the reverse, I don't see that this person is going to move towards a relationship. Um, they seem to be staying more in, in this energy of having a little bit of fun. Um, the Four of Coins, they will continue to hold back even if they were to develop feelings for you or have feelings for you. They're going to continue to hold back. And so it looks like um, they won't give to the situation. We have a three of wands. I feel like you're going to sit around and wait on this person. Try not to wait, wait, you know, like you need to find some happiness in life. Look at this. It's sort of like be happy with your, be happy with, um, <laughs> here, look at that, ten of cups. Be happy with your independence right now from this person. Um, don't allow them to come in and give you this kind of manipulative energy, right? Be careful of overindulgence, but find something to take joy in instead of sitting around and waiting on this. Now, obviously you're gonna do whatever it is that you want to do, and I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to tell you what the cards are showing. And the cards are showing that even if this person were to have feelings for you now or obtain feelings for you, I do not see them moving into anything other than this benefit situation. So um, you're going to need to think long and hard on that. But Spirit is saying you're worthy of somebody who's willing to put time and effort into you and give to the situation instead of giving you little tiny breadcrumbs. All right, Pisces, that one was a rough one. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Love and light, Pisces. Kiss, kiss for motion. Until, until next time.